Hello and welcome back one and all. So we are here today to have a look at the new Barber class. Yes, you have just heard that correctly. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course leave the video with a like. So yes, there is a new Barber class. So that means the old Barber class is now called Classic Barber and this is just called Barber. So now we've got that out of the way, let's get on with the usual sort of review and how you can get your hands on it. So in Barcelona Town, in the barber shop, is exactly where you're going to be able to grab it. So you can speak to Bev over there and then in the hair shop at the top for 22,000 gold, I believe that is, you have got the barber class and it looks very very good because it is literally just how you'd expect it to be and it's really nostalgic and really exciting it has actually got different abilities to the old one and as you can see here I am applying luck enhancements to it which is what's recommended so that's what we're gonna go for as it is a free class don't expect it to be amazing at all but you know in comparison to other bits it, it's not too bad and I, I quite enjoyed using it, it was alright, it's bearable, the abilities are nice and straightforward so let's get into it. So here you have farming, so this was me trying to rank it up and as you can see it was taking a little while, it's not built for farming this class but it wasn't too bad, it was easy enough to attack enemies and it defeated them fairly quickly. So what we're going to talk about now are the abilities. So your first ability is of course just the auto attack, second one is called snip snip, it does bleeding damage to enemies which I believe is where you get the damage over time from and it also does extra damage to humans and in PvP so as you can see you can kinda get where this class is going your third ability is good looks this applies looking sharp and encouraged to you and to allies it increases your crit chance by 5%, it stacks up to 5 and it also increases the haste by 10% as well your fourth ability is barbicide spillage so this one is all about applying debuffs to enemies, so to your enemies it will minus their crit chance by 30%, minus their haste by 20% and when they're both applied it will decrease the dodge by 20% as well. Your fifth ability is basically a mini nuke, for me it does about 3000 damage, well just over that, 3.5, 3300, something like that. And that is pretty much what this class is. It's mainly aimed clearly at the PvP market. It's it's not a great PvP class, but I guess if you're brand new to the game and want a good, easy to get class, then why not get the Barber class? It's probably quite good in the sense that, you know, it, it doesn't keep you alive, there's no healing, but it does, it, it sustains itself long enough to be able to kill King Cole, so that's quite good. Any high tier bosses, it's not going to stand a chance with, of course, but why would you want to farm and kill high tier bosses with the barber class it's just there for a little bit of fun and it is actually quite an enjoyable class to use so let's move on to talking about this class and how it works in pvp now of course against any again high tier classes you're going to really struggle you can see it getting destroyed here by void high lord now that is going to be the same case with pretty much any class in the game unless you manage to get your high attacks in a little bit quicker. So for PvP, literally, you want to try and prioritise your second ability and your fifth ability because the third and fourth, you're not even going to have time to use them against most people, if I'm honest, as you can see here. It does struggle. It's stunned, obviously, so there wasn't much I could really do there. But there's the mini nuke, as we'll call it, and then it eventually it'll just well out. It doesn't do enough damage quick enough for it to be able to sustain itself, but against other low tier classes, it's probably one of the better PvPers in the game probably. We're going with a lot of probabilities at the moment, I know that. But as you can see, a tiny bit of damage over time there being applied, not much. It does crit quite well, fairly consistently, you know, 800 upwards is kind of it, and it's not unlikely to hit a thousand all the time, but as soon as a big class comes along, you've got no chance at all. So all in all, it's nice to have an easy to get free player class that doesn't cost anything. It's not a venture coin storage, but that doesn't matter too much in my books. So guys, let me know down below if you're excited to have Barber back. For me, it's all about the nostalgia to it, but you know what? you may have totally different opinions. So thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave the video with a like and of course subscribe and of course a huge shout out to Desolate for the help with the PvP. Until next time, have a lovely day.